Solutions, brought to you by Focus Media. Peace, love, light us, be right. My man Vince White. I feel magical today, Vince. <laughs> Simply magical. Um, today we're going to talk to y'all about healing. Because everybody's searching for something. It's normally hope, right? But you're also... We all are also searching for some sort of healing. The one thing that I've run into with a lot of people that I've met recently um, is everybody is going through something. You know what I mean? It, it could be with another person. It could be with your job. It could be with whatever your challenge is. But it all comes back to one place. That's you. The way you heal those problems all pertain to how you heal yourself. And uh, one of the main things in that is prioritize your healing. Put yourself first. I mean, all day long, you take care of all of the problems. You help out with everybody else's woes. But you need to find a little bit of time just for you, just to sit, quiet your thoughts, quiet your mind. And reprogram your mind. How do you really want to feel about you? Like they say they're, um, not they say, I say, you should say it too. There's a power in words. Believe in your words. Uh, healing comes down to how hard or with the level of conviction you believe in those words that give you power. Figure out which of those words what are your words right now? What are your words of power? What words are powering you to feel and do anything? You know, are you saying you're tired? Are you saying you're broke? Are you saying you're broken hearted? Are you claiming the sickness that you want to heal from? So then you, you just need a little time. A little time to go back into that place and redirect that thought and then speak those words to yourself a little bit of relaxation and just a whole lot of you and it doesn't take long matter of fact one thing i definitely recommend for everybody um for those who know me you know i always got a notebook on me uh get you a notebook when when you feel doubtful fearful hurt Write that thought down immediately. Pull over. Write that thought down immediately. And then ask yourself, is this true? Do I really feel like this? Do I really want to feel like this? Heal is health. You know what I mean? How healthy are your thoughts? Your healthy thoughts can help heal all your pains, all your woes mine i love to call it is a mustard seed because of my faith my faith that even in every challenge it's meant for me to go through that challenge because something bigger and better is beyond that challenge um my grandmother taught me that you know we did the show on her last time love you grandma um and love you son me and vince are just talking about my boy <laughs> i probably should call him <laughs> uh, i guess i've been taking too much me time um, <laughs> but it feels good It does It feels magical You know that's one thing uh, That if I could ever Leave with somebody Or pass on to somebody Right That good word That hey I call a lot of people sugar bro <laughs> Hey sugar You know what I mean Because I, I want to Not want to I only see the sweetness in you Right and if you choose to show me something different, I'm already gone beyond that. You're just sugar. Hey, sugar. You know what I mean? Say something nice to yourself. Say something nice to somebody else. And watch. Somebody will start to say something nice to you as well. Now, you're not just healing you. You're healing others. And it takes nothing but a, a, a sweet word. A, a nice, calm relax you got this you're an amazing person 
you know what I mean? I'm, I'm grateful to have, to have met you. Having an attitude of gratitude comes from feeling good. Feeling good comes from thinking good thoughts. And thinking good thoughts are created by you. You got something for us, Vince? No, I'm just listening. <laughs> I'm uh I'm just reflecting back on what you said, um, that you know, it starts with the thought. And if you're thinking bad, it's possibly because you're feeling bad. Right. And I do understand because when I get like a rush and it's like a good thought, mm-hmm. I feel better. Right. But when I start thinking about a bunch of crazy stuff that I don't want or want to experience, that's when I start feeling bad. Okay. Well, that, like I said, it, every thought your body feels. So it's up to you on how you want to feel about whatever is happening at any given time. Like, <clears throat> we all have challenges. I have a couple going on right now, but <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm truly <laughs> not worried. Um, life is going to be life. I'm going to love every single moment of it. I mean, life is a special place to be. <laughs> and I'm glad that all of you listening are in our lives. You know what I mean? It, this is a special place to be. If you want to heal yourself, prioritize yourself. Give yourself just enough time every day to tell you that you're amazing. To to confirm that everything that you've been through, the hard times, the highs, the lows, the all of those things are gone. <laughs> your high is now, or your low can be. Write it down. Just write it down. And challenge it Challenge every thought that doesn't help you I'm just um, (laughs) I'm very 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 happy I'm very happy that Life has shown this to me Life has shown me That it is so easy To wake up grateful every morning It is so easy to not Feel that hurt No more You know what I mean? When I feel hurt now, it's normally because I'm feeling it from another person. And that hurts to see somebody going through something that they're mentally putting their self through way more than what it is really and actually happening. If circumstances are changes, yes, that can create some discomfort, but embrace the change that starts with you. That starts how you see it. That starts with what you say from it. You know what I mean? One of the things that you, well, my grandmother used to say is, is, um, watch what you say to people. You know what I mean? And if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say nothing at all. That applies. That should apply to every situation. That should apply to you. If you don't have nothing nice to say to yourself, then don't say nothing to yourself. Because... You got to be you. you. That's the life you were given. Love it. Love you. I love me. I love you. I love life. Life loves me. <laughs> it's simple stuff. You know what? I was writing the other day and I wrote something down and it said, it takes everything. No, it takes nothing to give everything. But it takes everything to give nothing. If you... <laughs> If you're willing to just be without giving out the joy that you should have within yourself, you'll lose it all. That's how we connect. But first you gotta connect to you. Then you can connect to somebody else. So until then, no matter what the situation is, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. You know what? I make that a practice too. I kind of make it a practice because I don't 
ever like saying anything bad to anybody. Now, sometimes it could be a reaction, but it takes a lot. You know, it takes a lot for me to react like that. And then even still, sometimes when I feel like, okay, I'm going to react, I don't react. Because it's, I'm like, even if I said that, it wouldn't matter. Right. So that's one of the things that I do try to practice, not saying stuff to people that's not good. Because it, I mean, sometimes it's just, maybe it's the way I'm, well, it's the way I'm feeling about something. So I think that's, that's a great thing because so many times when people have said stuff to me and I, and I say to myself, you could have kept that to yourself. <laughs> I mean, really, don't get me wrong. You know, sometimes it it could just be something. And I don't know if people experience that, you know, and I think we all do. And one thing I'm learning is do not react, because if I didn't understand English and I didn't understand what they said, then it wouldn't matter what the hell they said. Well, it shouldn't. It don't matter. It matters (laughs) how you take it. I remember reactions. You are reacting acting upon something that just occurred right don't acting is you know like actors actresses it's you playing a fake role right take enough time to digest what they said rather than reacting to it right and then see how you feel from that right but you got to think when you at the moment that you you said to yourself um well, they could have kept that to themselves, right? That's a thought you don't even need to keep to yourself. It don't matter what they, you know what I mean? That That's the thing. Everybody, we, we focus on so much of outside that we're not inside enough. And I'm not saying always be inside because outside is beautiful. You know what I mean? I, I choose to be outside a lot, actually. You know what I'm saying? I'm always outside. If I'm not in my house writing, then I'm at the lake writing or I'm at work right but i'm always in transition inside while conducting myself in in the regular world you know what i mean but i being mindful takes away or or helps you to discipline your reacting you know what i mean there's many times where (laughs) i just walk away not out of district and i'll come right back but <laughs> like if if somebody does something and it gives me like a feeling of what wait what like, you know what no i'm gonna take my wait what over here for a couple seconds and then come back and appropriately address the situation <laughs> yeah so you what <laughs> take what your that? wait what somewhere else so what, what if that person came back came when you was walking away and grabbed your arm and said hey hey, hey hold on bro Oh, then I just tell them, you know what? I just need a minute. Just give me a minute. I'm trying to process this. Okay. I'll get back. And, and, but, that's good. <laughs> but you look them right in the eye. Okay. So that's I, I like another that. thing. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> we're supposed to be talking about healing. But this is how you heal relationships. Yeah. If somebody, this is called healthy communication. Yes, I'm, it might not be healthy for me to walk away, right? I'm going to take that into consideration. Now I'll at least tell the person, you know what? Give me a second. Because <laughs> I, I literally just walk away. I take my weight what and, and I walk far. It's not like I leave the room. I take two steps away from you. And I give it a second. <laughs> I give it a second and then I come back. All right, look, check this out. This is how I took that. Is this how you meant that? You know what I mean? And then watch them need a weight what? Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Is is this what you meant by that? Cuz that's how it made me feel. You know what I mean? Nobody if okay another thing was okay the i am's right we talked about that but it's the power of an i statement right stop telling people about the use and what y'all doing and how you been and just give them an i feel what well, i feel <laughs> you know, because you'll make them feel matter of fact i was talking to two young ladies hey thank y'all for um they gave a great review on the last show one girl said she cried <laughs> that was that was awesome thank you um but when I'm, I'm, I'm kind of at a loss right now because the, the I statements and feeling, right? I was telling them about when I, when I address people, right? I touch my heart. So I'm showing you feel when I say hello. 
but I want you to feel that everything that you are going to experience with me, I mean from the bottom of my heart. So that means if I need to give you a wait what, I mean that sincerely from the bottom of my heart. We're gonna start every interaction off respectfully. We're gonna end every interaction off respectfully, or we just cease to interact. Because I'm not for acting I want everybody to get the purest version of me that I can find daily into myself, right? So I touch my heart. I feel like healing. You know what I mean? That's what I feel like today. I wear this cologne for a couple of y'all know me. I always smell like something. <laughs> I do. Um, but I wear this cologne I call the healer, right? And it's the power of my belief. When I wear that, I'm wearing it now. When I wear that, right, I just feel like healing. That's where the power of my belief is taking me. It's where I want these words. I feel like something in this will heal somebody listening to this. And with the power of that belief that creates a vibration of healing, so there is going to be something within this message for somebody. And all of that started with the words that I tell myself, the thoughts that I think and the conviction and my faith in believing that it will happen. Yeah. Peace, love, light. <laughs> be right. Well, one thing that I just, you know, <clears throat> got out of what you said. So. When someone says something to me and it makes me feel kind of out of my element, I'm going to get up, walk, take two steps, think about it, and then come back and address it. Just remember, I, I learned something from it today, too. Tell them. I'm going to take a second. You know what I mean? Because I realize... Sometimes, you know, I'm not a big guy or nothing like that, but that can kind of be off putting. <laughs> now that I think about it, you say something that make me feel uncomfortable and I stand up, you know, whoa, what is he doing? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, I know better than that. My daddy taught me better than that. So did my mom. But yeah, just give yourself a second. And you don't have to ask them for it, but it, it seems nicer too. You know what? Or just, I'm going to take a second. Excuse me. You know what I mean? And don't go far. You don't have to go far. Maybe you don't even have to say that. You can just hold. <laughs> yeah, let's do that, y'all. Let's let peace. They say peace be still. Right. So when you want peace, be still. Right. And then they say be still and know that I am God. So when you're still and you got a thought. Make sure it's a good thought because that's where you're sending it. Believe in it or not, whatever you call that creator, that bigger power, that thing that created you, that gave you the ability to create and that will meet you and give you your heart's desires. It all starts with how you think. So I hope uh, you'll think about that. <laughs> yeah, this was a uh, powerful Real powerful. I've been waiting for that one. If I didn't get a powerful on this <laughs> no, one, I'd have been disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, when you're dealing with um, people, places, and things on a daily basis, it can get a little uh, off. And one, like you said, it's really you and how you're processing these so called events that have went on. And that's the one thing now that I'm seeing. With even my actions, it's it's just that hey, I don't even have to react. I don't even have to react to what they said. I can sit back and take a minute, take a minute, like you said, and think, and then I can give my response. To give myself control, I'm in control of my actions, and I'm in control how I'm going to react to what they said and how i'm feeling and sometimes i just look like we all do instead of sitting back and say okay let me just chill internalize this and then maybe i'll say a react and then maybe i don't 
don't react respond respond okay there you go and take more people out of the picture this is about you not all of the interactions let's go to the interaction that internal action you know what i mean i'm alone a lot by choice right so it gives me a feeling with everybody that i do have an interaction with those become the special moments in life right but the funny thing is is that when i'm alone in my own thoughts that's also a special moment in life so keep it more in so that when you give it out you know what you're giving out you know what i mean healing joy peace i mean um when i do have a visitor they always compliment my vibe like you got a real cool vibe in here like you do the incense and every you just got a cool vibe and i'm like i appreciate that thank you it's a they say it's just peaceful and i love to see when a person comes over and they sit down and they got the world on their shoulders right and then what i notice is is there's a moment where they sit back and they take a deep breath and they lean into the seat and the world falls off and i get to see peace on their face right and that for me feels amazing. It feels magical because I've created a space of peace. And that was created by finding peace of mind. And finding peace of mind was created by being still. <laughs> I love getting I miss you texts from my aunties, right? When they text me something like, I, I miss our talks. It's, it's the interaction. They know when I come or when I'm talking to them, it's the hand on my heart. It's the I pledge that I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Now, nobody's perfect because, <laughs> and I'm silly. I get a little off-putting when I'm buzzed. <laughs> I got you know hey I, I i own my my shadow and my light you know what i'm saying <laughs> yes you know that's that's one of those things about being healthy you know what i mean nobody is perfect so don't judge everybody give them compassion but right now the reason why we do this show is because we want you to be about you there's no correct path there was no manual for this so you can find whatever you want if you can think it think about it amazing 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 and when i get out when i walk out of here hopefully i'll be walking through walls <laughs> walking on water <laughs> raising the dead and healing the sick <laughs> at first i know that's gonna start with me but yeah yeah this is uh truly amazing and uh yeah i'm 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 definitely um definitely taking this with he i feel like i'm like a patient over here you know what i'm saying <laughs> uh, i appreciate it uh, <laughs> <appreciate> <laughs> yeah nurse nurse come Look. here <laughs> ain't where's no my lunch <laughs> ain't no nurse coming. okay you your nurse bro. oh right right okay yeah, yeah you know i said after the nurse. doctor to check me out but no it's all good man you know what i'm gonna start calling you events uh, okay like event e-v-e-n-t but because you do the podcasting oh. and media and everything you got you know e as in internet well not internet what are you what am i talking about what does the e stand for when uh -oh. they put it in front of the never mind okay yeah, I'm going on a tangent. Uh -oh. yeah. But you, yeah events <laughs> well i'm, I'm excited because i know we'll be outside pretty soon oh uh, that's gonna be amazing yeah the weather's breaking a little bit so yeah this is all good and uh yeah another uh powerful show appreciate it man peace love light